So then during history class... Oh, really? That's interesting. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> yeah, it is. Hey, Jonathan. What are you guys talking about? Oh, Mari. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was just passing by and heard you guys. Interesting. This is Marin Shimazu. She's my childhood friend. Oh, really? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you know her? Yeah, I've seen her before. She's the girl that's always with Aina Umezu, right? Aina again. Hmm? Did you say something? No, nothing. Um, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So, you're good friends with Jonathan? No, I just met him. Oh, really? Well, if you want to hear funny stories about his past, I'm his childhood friend, so you can ask me and I'll tell you. Well, that sounds fun. I know, right? Oh, shoot! I forgot, I was told to come to the office! Oh, really? You should probably get going then. Yeah, my bad. See you later. Sure. Well then, I better go well this time. I'm getting tired of doing this already. While hiding, I looked over at the two that I left behind. It's looking like things are going well. They're there. Look at that. It's Jonathan being brave as usual. Oh, it's you. What's up? You know I have a name. Call me Aina. Fine, Aina. And hello, Jonathan. How are you today? Fine. Thanks. Good. This beautiful girl, Aina Umezu, was the most popular girl in the school. She was easygoing, she was beautiful, she was also smart and good at sports. The one thing that we had in common was that she was friends with my childhood friend with a bad personality. Of course, she knows all about what I'm trying to do here. Hmm? What's the matter, staring at my face like that? Oh, uh, nothing. If I made you feel weird, then I'll apologize. That's not what I'm saying, but... So how's it going? Well, looks pretty good. Interesting. So Marin will finally have a boyfriend? That would be good, but... What is it? Are you sad? As if. If this means that she'll stop doing such stupid things like this, then I'm happy about it. You say that, but you really do go along with Marin's request every time. She is my childhood friend, after all. So I guess I'm used to it by now, and I don't really have a choice. Interesting. Is that really all it is? What are you suggesting? Nothing. Well, whatever it is that you're suggesting, there's nothing like that. Is that so? Being annoying. Because it makes me wonder if she is my friend after all. What are you guys talking about? Oh, Maureen. What's up? Are you done talking to that guy? I'm done. And my crush is also done too. Again? Shut up. And once again, my enemy was you, Aina. Hey, hey, stop making it my fault. Because it's true. Why is it that anytime I'm alone with any of the boys, all they want to do is ask about you? I wish they could even be a little bit interested in me. Well, 
That's because you're in different leagues as girls. So there's nothing you can do about that. Did you say something? Uh, no. Nothing. First of all, this is all your fault anyway. Huh? Why's that? I just did exactly as you asked me. You know you could introduce me a little bit better instead of just as a childhood friend. What? You're so irritating, you're useless. This was my childhood friend, Marin Shimazu. She was very pure and wanted to be in love. And she also likes good-looking guys. Her face is alright, but in reality, she had a bad mouth. Her personality was also pretty twisted. And anytime she finds a good-looking guy she's interested in, she makes me establish contact first. For the record, her success rate has been 0% so far. The reason is exactly as Marin just said. Most of the guys in the school are less interested in Marin and more interested in Aina, who's always with her. Damn it, I really thought it was gonna go well. Why aren't you quit already? I don't wanna. Give up already. A good-looking boyfriend for you is a dream within a dream. Why would you say something so mean? Jonathan, you're horrible! Amazing how you can say that after being so mean to me just now. Hey, hey, Marin. What is it? But also... <laughs> What about Jonathan? What about him? Boyfriend? Boyfriend? Are you still sleeping? What I'm saying is, why don't you have Jonathan be your boyfriend? Then everything would be solved. Uh, what are you saying? Getting excited? Gross. Uh, there's no way. Ever. I don't want that either. Really? Why not? What do you mean, why? You know, I like good looking guys. Yeah, and? This guy isn't good looking. Hey! Think so? What? What? I actually think Jonathan is pretty good looking. You... do you think so? Hey, Aina, don't you think you should go to the eye doctor? What? Why? There is no way that Jonathan is good looking. Really? Yeah, definitely. Well then, I'm going to take him. What do you mean? You don't need Jonathan, right? Yeah, I don't. When you answer that quickly, it hurts. Well then, let me have him. What are you... what? Nina, you had a crush on Jonathan? Are you serious? What about you, Jonathan? What about me? Would you not want me? It's not that I don't want... I guess if it's not Marina, then there's no way. <laughs> Definitely not. That was quick. If there aren't any other girls that you like, then go out with me. Uh, sure, but... What? Really? Yay! But Ina, 
Are you sure you're okay with that? Of course. You know, I'm actually pretty into you, Jonathan. And so, I was doing my best to get my childhood friend a boyfriend, but I somehow ended up with a girlfriend before her. And then rumors that Ina and I were dating instantly spread throughout the school. Apparently that guy is Ina's boyfriend. Seriously? But she's totally out of his league! I guess Ina has pretty bad taste in men. That was because she was popular. But there was one other point. Hey Jonathan, what's up? Blah! Make sure you catch me. That's dangerous! <laughs> it's because she didn't care if other people were staring and would stick to me like this. Hey, Ina? What is it, Jonathan? Isn't it embarrassing to do this in front of people? Hi. What do you mean, why? Isn't it normal to want to stick to the person that you like? The person you like? Why are you blushing? You and I are dating, so obviously that's what that means. Ina, you're amazing. Oh. Why are you complimenting me? Because it seems like you don't care what others think. You know, I've always lived my life with a lot of attention on me. I can imagine. So I'm pretty used to it, and I just confront it now. Because if I don't do that, I'll never be able to leave my house. I see. To be honest, I feel a little bit bad about this. About what? Because now that you're dating me, it means that you stick out as well. People will talk about you. That's true, but... If anything happens, tell me. I'll protect you. I should be the one saying that to you. What? I want to be somebody that can protect you. <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? Of course I am, because I'm happy. Is that so? I'm counting on you, my dear boyfriend. Come here. Look at you, acting tough. It makes me like you even more. All right, all right. So what did you want to say? Oh, that's right. Let's go on a date after school. Sure. Is there anywhere that you wanted to go? Hmm, nope. Nowhere? No, nothing. Well then, why did you want to go on a date? Well, isn't it obvious? Because I want to be with my boyfriend. You're amazing. You're so straightforward. I get that a lot. Well then, why don't we just walk around town? Sure, let's walk around town. My relationship with Ina was steady. She wasn't unreasonable like Maureen, and she was bright and kind and cute. Out of a hundred points, she was a girlfriend worth a thousand! What are you thinking about? Oh, uh, nothing. Why don't I take a guess? It made my heart skip a beat, but I didn't think that she would be able to get it. But I was afraid that if it was Ina, she might. This is it. You want to eat ice cream. Wait, am I wrong? You just want to eat ice cream, don't you? Hey, you got me. 
You want me to treat you? Wh what No, it's okay. That's not the reason why I said it anyway. Wait, why are you so shocked? Well, no. Because if it was Maureen, then she would definitely tell me to treat her. Interesting. Well, then, why don't I have you treat me? Are you mad about something? If you bring up another girl's name in the middle of our date, it would put me in a bad mood. I'm sorry. I won't forgive you. You can get a triple scoop of ice cream. Hey, Jonathan, you and Marin. We're really just childhood friends. That's all. Really, really? Really, really. I mean, there was a time when I used to like her, but... I knew it. That's cheating. Cheating! I'm telling you that it was in the past. Right now, there's a different girl I like anyway. Is that... Yes, that's what this means. Are you admitting that you're cheating? No, wait. Who is it? Where are they from that stole my Jonathan? Why don't you get it? I'm obviously talking about you. Why are you so shocked? Because it's the first time. What is? You said that you like me, Jonathan. Really? Huh, really, I'm super happy. I'm in a better mood now, so let me treat you to ice cream. How many scoops do you want? You can have as many as you want. No, let me treat you. Nope, I am super happy, so I'm going to treat you. <laughs> what a weird girl. But you like this weird girl, don't you? I think I like you even more than I did before. Oh, come on. You're good at this, aren't you? No, that's how I really feel. I guess I have no choice. Take all my money then. Really, this relationship is going well. Day by day, I found myself falling for Ina. And one day, after school, How's it going with Jonathan? Hmm? It's going well. He's so nice. Is that so? Wait, are you jealous? No, I'm not. He's mine already, so I'm not going to give him to you. I don't want him anyway. I like people that are good looking. Sure. That's why I like you, Aina. <laughs> and you are always so honest about your feelings without hiding anything at all. And that's why I like you too, Marin. Thanks. And that's why it makes me think more that Jonathan is no match for you. I don't think that you would be punished for trying to aim higher, Aina. What? Really? Of course. But if he says he doesn't want to break up, just tell me. I'll convince him. Sure, thanks. But right now I don't see that happening. But also, between the two of us, I think I like him more anyway. Hey, Aina. Yeah? Yeah, what is it? You really don't have good taste in men. I feel bad for you. What, you think so? I definitely think so. I don't think that's true at all. Yeah, it's true. Because he's a good looking guy, just like you like them. Definitely not. But that's the truth. If that's what you want to believe, Marin, then fine, but. It's not just what I believe. Even if you realize it's going to be too late, I'm going to say multiple times, but he's mine. You must really like him. I guess so. And I had no idea that the two of them were having that conversation. 
A few days later, we decided to go buy some clothes on a date. Hmm? What's this? I was just thinking about dressing you up the way I want today. Would that be okay? Uh, sure, that's okay, but you don't like my clothes? They're not bad, but they're average. Average? That's right. Well, whatever. Do what you want. Aye, aye, sir. After that, let's go get your hair cut and have them set it. Yeah, yeah. I just followed her and let her do what she wanted to me, like a dress-up doll. But even still, Ina looked like she was having fun, so that was fine. And then, after the weekend on the first day of school, Marin came over. Hey, Jonathan! What's the matter? Why are you panicking? You cut your hair! Yeah, I did. Interesting. It's not bad. Even though it looks like you don't know how to style it at all. Shut up. I don't normally do it, so I don't know how to. So what do you want? About that, how's it going with Aina these days? Uh, we get along fine. Really? What are you suggesting? To tell you the truth, uh, I saw. I didn't mean to, but I saw. I saw Aina going on a date with the good-looking type of guy that I like. Hey, Mari, are you telling the truth? Yeah, it's the truth. Seriously? So, let's go confront her. That's a little... What? I guess sometimes you do get serious for my sake. But, what are you saying? Huh? It's obviously so that she can introduce me to that guy, and if you make a big deal that she cheated on you, then it would put me in a better position too. So it's really just for your own benefit. Obviously. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. What do you both want this early in the morning? Morning, Ina. Hey, even though she cheated on you, why are you just greeting her like it's a normal day? Cheated? Marin said that she saw you on a date with a handsome guy over the weekend. I see. What do you mean? Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, it's true that I was on a date anyway. What? I was shocked. Until I got to this very moment, I didn't have any doubts about her at all. See, I told you! So, Aina, who was that guy? Do you really want to know? Of course! He was the best-looking guy I've seen until now! Interesting. I can tell you, but I'm not going to give him to you. So, you're just going to leave Jonathan? I know. Oh, come on. Why are you looking like a little puppy that's about to be left on the street? Of course I would never do such a thing. You're so cute. I just want you all to myself. Well, then you're going to two time? All right, all right. I'll explain everything to you. So sit down, okay? Hmm. Okay. First, I have a question for you, Marin. Sure. The date that you saw, that was yesterday, wasn't it? That's right. Hmm? Yesterday. It was just past noon. That's right. And the location was downtown. Wait, did you see me? Nope, not at all. Actually, isn't that... See, now do you understand that it's all a misunderstanding? Yeah, but that means... It was all Marin's misunderstanding, the fact that I was on a date with a guy other than you, and the fact that she said that you're not good-looking. Huh? What are you saying? Hey, Marin. At that moment, Ina reached into her bag and pulled out some hair wax, 
put some in her fingers and gently touched my hair. That good-looking guy that you saw? Didn't he look like this? No way. So that means that this mysterious, good-looking guy was actually Jonathan. Round of applause. What? Jonathan, huh? What do you mean? What it means is that the person I was on a date with was Jonathan, and that this good-looking guy that you fell in love with at first sight was also Jonathan. Arin, you... No, that's not it. What? Huh? I don't understand it. Wait, wait, wait. I finally understood what Ina's goal was. She wanted to see Marin's reaction, and that's why she made me her dress-up doll. So I'm gonna say it one more time. Jonathan is pretty good looking and he's already mine, so you can't take him. You have to give up. When Ina laughed, she seemed really satisfied and made me think, girls are a little bit scary. <laughs>